Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at how to create a car crashing through walls under 5 minutes. First thing we need to do is import the car. So just go under file, import, can add a ground, shift A, plane, scale it up, scale it on the X axis, and make the car using keyframes for the first uh, maybe 20 frames and then have the rigid body system take over after the 20th, 20th frame. Uh, let's set a keyframe uh, for here and then at around frame 25 we can animate this uh, forward. Now if we play back and see everything is moving forward, uh, the car is moving forward and now let's have the rigid body system take over at around frame 20. Uh, the animation we have added will just act as an initial velocity for our car so let's uh, then turn on rigid body uh, so that you can start from there. So uh, make sure you turn on, on the animated option uh, make a keyframe for that and then move forward one frame using the arrow keys and uh, remove uh, that animated key. So this will just make sure that uh, the keyframe animation uh, works up to around frame 20 and then at around frame 11 the rigid body system will take over and uh, you will have uh, the car being animated by the rigid body system. So let's make sure that see, this ground is also a rigid body of type passive uh, so that the car doesn't just go through and see what we are having. Let's also uh, make this ground uneven, add a displacement modifier for the deformation go under uh, the rigid body system and uh, make sure you have other uh, collision shape set to mesh and uh, also have deforming turned off so that this uh, displacement modifier also affects uh, that system so you can see how the car is being animated now let's add uh, the brick walls just add a plane add a loop like that and add a loop like that then remove this loop so that we have something like that. And now if you add an array, you can see how we are starting to repeat uh, that pattern, then apply uh, the array. Uh, so we also want to remove this. So basically what we're trying to do, uh, I think I have some doubles here. So I need to make sure that I remove those first by merging, uh, by right clicking, go under merge, that says merge by distance. So now I can remove this edge. Uh, now if you add an array, you can see how this is repeating. And uh, if we copy this array again and uh, this, repeat this on the Z axis, I mean this the Y axis, yeah, you can see how we have uh, this grid. We can go under, I think it's this array here, and uh, make sure we merge uh, those vertices. Uh, but uh, we need to add some gaps between each brick. So I'll just bevel uh, those edges, those middle edges, like so. So that's going to be our gap, and then we can delete that gap like that. Now we can go under to that array, this array here, and uh, increase that distance just a bit like that. You can see we have other walls repeating except we have this larger wall in the middle. So for that we're just going to select this edge and push it inside a bit so that we have uh, the bricks repeating. Now I can scale this down to the size we want. For the thickness we're just going to add a solidify modifier. Now if I increase thickness, I can see what we are having. Playback, nothing happens because we haven't set up the rigid body system for this. But uh, before we want to do that, we want to make sure that each brick is an individual brick. So for that, let's apply the array like that. Edit mode, select everything and then hit P and then separate by loose parts. Uh, select every brick and then reset their origin uh, to geometry. So I can select the bricks collection I'd select the bricks and now I, need, I just need to give them uh, their own rigid body system. So I'll go an object, rigid body, add passive, add active, and now they're all added to the rigid body system. You can go to the rigid body systems and uh, under dynamics you can turn on the activate and then start the activation. Uh, this will make sure that uh, the bricks will only activate or start falling after another rigid body object collides with them. Now you can see they only start falling after the car collides with them. But uh, the velocity of the car is not enough uh, to push through the, uh, the bricks. So I'm just going to speed it up by moving these keyframes closer and uh, maybe also increase uh, the mass of uh, the car. And see now we get that. So a longer version of this tutorial uh, will be available on Blender Money. Uh, so if you want to check that out, you can go th over there and watch uh, the longer version step-by-step -step tutorial over there. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.